So far, we've been introduced to the concepts of electric charge and magnetic moment, which are the foundations of electricity and magnetism. Electrostatic, magnetostatic, and electromagnetism concepts have also been addressed. But what does transform these properties and concepts into applications? This question will be answered in this episode. To generate electromagnetism, the electric charge must be catalyzed to mobile. This mobility is performed by applying electric work on the electric charge, releasing its intrinsic electric potential energy. But hold on a second. What's energy and what's electric potential energy and how that work is applied on the electric charge? Well, let us start with energy. Energy is conserved quantity that can neither be generated nor destroyed, and it's measured in joules. In general, energy has two fundamental forms, potential and kinetic, as all other types of energy may be classified under these two categories. Moreover, potential energy is the energy that's stored within an object's field. When an external field exerts force on that object, a work will be done causing the object to release its stored potential energy and convert it into kinetic energy, like how the electric field causes charges to attract or repel each other. The magnetic field that causes magnets attract and repel each other. The gravity field that causes the ball to fall down. The chemical bonds that cause the match to burn. The mechanical formation that causes the spring to stretch and compress. Based on that, and since the electric charge generates an electric field, then the electric potential energy is stored in that field. So in order to release the electric charge's potential energy to initiate its mobility, an electric work, or in other words, an electromotive force must be applied. The electromotive force, or EMF, could be achieved by chemical reaction, mechanical motion, nuclear radiation, solar radiation, or other types as it converts them into electric energy. Once achieved, EMF will create and maintain an electric potential difference by separating positive and negative charges into two distinct regions. The greater the gap difference, the greater the electric potential, as the EMF will be at its peak when the circuit terminals aren't connected. When the circuit's terminals are connected to a load, the electric potential difference between the charges starts to shrink transforming electrons' potential energy into kinetic energy, which leads to pushing the electrons from terminal to another, resulting in electrons' motion in the circuit and to the gradual consumption of the EMF. When the EMF is totally consumed, the difference between the charges will disappear, and as a result of that, electrons' flow will be interrupted. Electric potential difference, which has been created by electromotive force, or EMF, to catalyze the electrons to flow between circuits terminals, is also known as voltage. Voltage is the main reason behind electrons' motion in electric circuits, and hence, the main reason behind the operation of all the electric and electronic devices that we know. At this point, the element behind electrons' mobility has been presented. In the next episode, electrons mobility or electric current will be discussed. So ensure that you're subscribed and click the bell icon. Please help us by liking, commenting, and sharing. This encourages us to deliver more. Wait for the next video on the Electricity and Magnetism channel, and we'll see you next week.